Thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon. We're gonna have to break certain conventions for this one. In this video, we're going to talk about how to sound like John Cage. Now, if you clicked on this video expecting me to sit at the piano for four minutes and 33 seconds, I'm glad you're watching this video because there is so much more behind John Cage's music than this particular conceptual idea. Cage was heavy on experimentation and took the idea of instrumentation to its extremes. So firstly, it'll help to prepare the piano. Basically, what we're doing is adding nuts, bolts, and rubber in between the strings to take a piano sounding like this. To sound like this. So as you can hear, this makes the piano sound rather broken. That's if you're using traditional harmony and phrasing, that is. If we now treat the piano more like a percussion ensemble, the results are quite different. Attention to subtle differences in timbre is necessary, as well as an openness to what we perceive and experience as music. We're going to abandon traditional harmony, chord progressions, and melodic structure, yet not completely. In other words, some notes will still have more gravity over others, and traditional elements such as motivic structure, form, and some amount of tonality will still be present. We're going to take notes on the harmonies, rhythms, and textures found in music from all over the world, such as Indian music, gamelan music, and jazz, just to name a few. The use of silence and space between the notes is very important, so there will be a lot of room for breathing. With experimentation comes unpredictable outcomes, so it's best to embrace the nature of chance and indeterminability. Look into East and South Asian philosophy and culture, as well as nature, to find more inspiration related to this. So with these points in mind, I then set out to come up with my version of Happy Birthday in the style of John Cage. A pattern like this, that provides a, a thread, some sort of consistent material but it's a little uneven. Well, <laughs> and then, nah. Maybe a contrasting section. Semitones, dissonant intervals. Tritone? Nah. I'm trying to make use of these percussive sounds where the pitches will land, where the melody essentially will land. It won't always be so regular, and in that way it's applying elements of chance and randomness. And I'm embracing the sonority here, which is very unconventional. Obviously, a non-prepared piano would not sound like this. I think that's about it. Now here's the final version.
Maybe something like that. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to check out my other birthday homages I've released previously, check out the link in the description.